So the miracle is within us. The miracle is within you. It is not outside anywhere like you search. It is within you and you have to search it within. Praise the Lord, my beloved ones. Today, a beautiful, most anointed, powerful Lord God Jesus Christ has come with amazing prophetic word for us. And this prophetic word is based on my own testimony. The testimony that I have for the Lord's glory is amazing, is awesome, is beyond my expectation. And it is completely based on the Lord's promises. The Lord has given us all the promise that when you give, you shall be blessed amazingly. When you give freely, you shall receive freely. And I obeyed the Lord throughout this year. I have given and given and given according to the obedience according to the guidance of the Holy Spirit. I blessed both the just and the unjust financially. And I sowed into my own ministry, our ministry for the Lord's glory. And I went on trusting the Lord and went on sowing and sowing and sowing. Since the beginning of this year, every month, as the Lord had asked me to do, I had even sowed into your life by sending you the anointed clothing so the sewing went on went on went on and i kept on trusting the lord and by the end of this year even by the 15th of december the lord had asked me to empty my accounts for sewing into this ministry for spreading the word of god for sharing the word of god and even at the end, I obeyed the Lord. And by this time, one becomes weary of giving and giving and giving. But the testimony is amazing because things turned upside down amazingly for me. Within a week, as I had emptied my bank accounts for sowing in this ministry, which I say that it is a fertile ground, the Lord blessed me with an overflow and I was surprised because I was not expecting that but I was waiting for a miracle and just before my bank account was blessed financially just before one hour the Lord had gave me this prophetic word that in one hour you shall receive the financial overflow you shall receive the miracle money and yes, indeed, it is true. It was not expected by the end of this year that it shall be an overflow financially. It is all because of the fertile ground and sowing in this ministry and obeying the Lord. As I always say that you should come back with thanksgiving offerings with the seed that you should sow and the tithe and the first fruits. Now, first fruit is a very important seed and I have been sowing the first fruit every month. So, a lot of sowing and sowing and sowing and emptying and emptying and emptying and finally the day arrived when the Lord blessed me amazingly in one day with an overflow. And after that, my spirit was lifted up amazingly to testify about the lord's glory and i was amazed about how he can do miracles for us overnight i am so much filled up with the joy of the lord that i am overwhelmed and i want to boast about the lord's glory the works of his hand amazingly unexpectedly and he will keep on testing our faithfulness Every moment when we obey him, we deserve a reward. So we are marked for a reward. Every obedience will result into a reward. That is the power of obedience being led by the Holy Spirit. 
you are not obeying any man you are not obeying any woman you are not obeying any human you are obeying the spirit of the living god and for this you need faith so for all you those who have sown in faith into our ministry i am praying for the same miracle and i bless you with the same overflow that i have received amazingly and the joy of the lord is overflowing i am happy and i want to tell about the lord's goodness to so many and again all those who have sown in the kingdom of god the house of the lord your first fruits are blessed your tithings are blessed your offerings are blessed your thanksgiving offerings are blessed and also now when you sow for this year you are going to receive the blessings for the next year and i have done this all before i can come and testify i have sown the tithe things the offerings the first fruits whatever the lord has asked me to do for his glory and instead of using it for my personal use for my family i have sown it all for the lord's glory so nothing of my own will nothing of my own desire but the lord's will in my life he is the one who blesses us with his will in our life and that is the renewed heart so i received the renewed heart i received the renewed glory i received his renewed will and due to this i felt it very happy while sowing in the kingdom of god for sharing the word of god for sowing into a ministry and also into several other ministries through our ministry that is the month of december for me full of blessings and due to this i have very few videos but a lot of testimonies lot of work my 40 days fasting prayer ended this month and soon after that the lord went on pruning me emptying me and amazingly he made the turn around from empty into overflowing and it is still overflowing the faith is overflowing the ministry is overflowing the prophecies are overflowing the testimonies are overflowing there is an overflow in each and everything when you have that faith the overflowing faith when you are blessed with the overflowing faith you shall have miracles and miracles and amazing miracles for the lord's glory so this year the lord had blessed me with so many promises and they were all related to finances because when we are serving the lord zealously and truly we need finances and he will not forget to bless you financially he will not forget to bless you with the prosperity that is needful the prosperity that is within and outside as well the prosperity where you know the path is a narrow and you have to enter the pruning so that you shall be exalted amazingly so it is always a no to ourselves and yes to the lord always denying yourself and saying yes to the lord and this is how we enter the overflow saying no to our own will our own desires and saying yes to the lord yes lord yes lord yes lord and this is how we enter the overflow so the miracle is within us the miracle is within you it is not outside anywhere like you search it is within you and you have to search it within you should not obey your own will but you should obey the word of god and the word of god has blessed me prophetically when the anointing comes when the anointing comes on the prophetic word the word that i have received this year are from the book of prophecy and that is the only holy book that we have 
but this book is always blessed when we have the anointing i received amazing anointing this is my another testimony and the anointing is also for you to bless your finances with hundredfold of return because you are sowing on a good ground and on a good fertile ground you shall always receive a hundredfold of return so i received the prophetic word from proverbs 3 verse 9 10 that when you sow your first fruit your bonds shall overflow that prophecy has been fulfilled in my life the other word that the lord has been given me is give and it shall be given to you it shall be given to you in such a way that it shall be pressed down and it shall be filled up and it shall be pressed down and it shall be filled up it is exactly the same way as we put the grains in the container when you fill up grains in the container you fill it up then you press it down you shake it to press it down and then you fill it and then you shake it to press it down and then you fill it and thus you find that it is full so there is no empty space remaining when you obey the lord this is how i got blessed by another prophetic word that what you sow that you shall reap and my beloved ones it is important for me as well even if i am a pastor even if i am the prophetess of god even if i am the woman of god to be successful in the testing and faithfulness and obedience before i ask you to sow i have already sown in the lord's ministry for the kingdom of god in the house of the lord and that pleases the lord because i have fulfilled this prophetic word in action by faith faith in action so i took action in everything and thus i received the prophet's reward i received the reward of obedience i received it all for this year the reward of what i have sown that i have reaped already another testimony that i have is the glory that i have received if you see my older videos you shall find the difference then and now and i have grown up amazingly in the shine of the lord and this shine this upliftment of the physical blessings on earth as it is in heaven is completely spirit led is completely his anointing due to this i had received another prophetic word take my yoke so i had received this prophetic word take my yoke and all these prophetic words i had given it to you this year now it is up to you how far you have received it when i receive any prophetic word i claim it repeatedly repeatedly yes lord it is for me and it should be for me so there are many more testimonies to come when the lord says take my yoke it is easy indeed i found that whatever has been very difficult for me with his amazing yoke. It has been so easy. At times I knew, Lord, it is impossible, but when I receive his anointing, it becomes smooth, it becomes painless, and there is no hurt. So I went on obeying the Lord and to claim the righteousness on the land a prophet or a prophetess should move from one land to another due to this there is a holy march in the city done by the prophets it might have happened in your local church as well the prophets go out from one place to another to claim the land this is for the lord's righteousness and it happened to me as well throughout the year the lord moved me not in the same city but from one state to another and he asked me to cover the complete south of india and it was so painful for me 
not easy at all but he will empower you so that you shall obey him at times when you are completely giving up and saying lord i cannot do then the lord knows you need that strength you need his yoke only his yoke is easy and his burden is light due to this the lord will often ask you to give your burdens to him so every time when i was disappointed every time when i felt that lord i can't keep on traveling i keep can't keep on moving and i have to move almost every month so throughout the year almost every month i had to be in a new home in a new apartment in a new locality which is so painful but by the end of the year when i have obeyed the lord successfully i know how i have become a conqueror so it has made me conqueror because in india we have a lot of witchcraft a lot of idol worship and as i stepped on into the land of the wicked i became the overcomer by the power of the holy spirit by the presence of the living god and in every place i had to be into the spiritual warfare and fight with the regional demonic powers and i knew that in every place where the lord is taking me there is power of some demonic power so he has enhanced me and he has empowered me to overcome the powers of darkness as i entered every apartment i knew that in every apartment there is a certain witchcraft and i had to fight every witchcraft and i have already become the conqueror so now the next year that is going to come is full of plenty of blessings because i am the overcomer and i have done the same with you due to this we have so many testimonies as well whatever i have received from the lord i am very quick in giving the only secret that i have found in the kingdom of god is to give and give and give and give whatever you receive you receive his glory give it you receive his prophetic word give it you receive finances give it share it with others sharing 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 giving 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 but only being led by the spirit of god otherwise the devil will come to kill steal and destroy so you have to wait and obey you have to hear it from the lord and then obey you have to be wise and you are wise only when you hear the word of the living god not any word from the devil and i always ask you to remain under this anointing for the same reason because this anointing has transparency it is a clear and honest anointing that comes only for the lord's glory so whatever is for the lord's glory is never for the kingdom of darkness it is never for the devil due to this my beloved ones this anointing will always protect you will always guide you will always comfort you you will feel that i am your spirit mother and you will feel closer to me even when physically we are far away from each other this is the anointing of god's love and compassion as the lord leads me i will come back with more testimonies but my beloved one remember one thing that you shall also testify you shall also receive the overflow and i have already prayed for you i have already blessed your seed and those who are still being led by the holy spirit to sow it you should come back with the seed that the lord has given you to sow into our ministry it is the time to sow your seed in the house of the lord my beloved once your blessings are still there and you have few more days for the month and for this year to end so dear children of god this year will not pass by without you receiving your blessing the lord is my shepherd i shall not be in want 
We thank all those who are honoring the Lord with their wealth and for all the offerings. We bless you with a hundredfold of return. My beloved ones, if you have not yet received our Lord God Jesus Christ, if you have not yet received the Holy Spirit, we shall pray a small prayer because repentance is at hand. Our Father in heaven, we come into your presence through our Lord Jesus Christ. And today we receive salvation. We receive Holy Spirit into our heart. Oh Lord, forgive us our sins and help us to be born again. We shall seek you, O Lord Jesus Christ, unto Zion. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. My beloved ones, with this small prayer of repentance, your sins are forgiven and you have received Holy Spirit within you. You shall walk the walk of righteousness.